TikTok is the top most used and downloaded app in the App Store. You would have to be living off the grid for the past seven years to not know what TikTok is. With the popularity this app has gotten, we are bound to see some content that would be inappropriate popping up. And some creators exploiting communities such as moms advocating breastfeeding in public to gain engagement and traction to their adult sites. Using infant children as objects in their videos targeting a specific audience and sounds being used to create libraries of children breastfeeding. In today's video, I want to go over some of the information that I found and how some of these creators are exploiting these communities for their personal gain and how some of these sounds that ask you to record your child and see how they react can pose a problem and be harmful and dangerous. But before we get into the video, I want to make something clear. I don't have a problem with breastfeeding, breastfeeding in public, or the normalization of breastfeeding. Providing nutrition and food for an infant is basic human nature. It's completely normal. There's nothing wrong with it. The problems and concerns that I am having are mothers exploiting their infant child. An intimate moment, a connection between mother and child, for engagement and clicks to their other sites linking to their adult content. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. I came across a live stream the other day of a mother breastfeeding. Something didn't sit right with me, seeing how many people were viewing the live stream and how many people were sending roses and gifts to the creator. Roses and gifts are sent from viewers and are used as revenue for which can be converted into diamonds that can be used to purchase items within the TikTok app. This mother seems to be using her child feeding an intimate moment to gain views and money exploiting the child. I started reading the comments and had to go in and translate them to English. Give me some. Show your armpits. Show the other and let it touch. And the comment with the emoji is self-explanatory. One comment pointed out, this is the same video they seen the other day. It seems to be a recording on loop. I started poking around TikTok and came across channels advocating breastfeeding. 90% of the creators are truly amazing providing information, products, and full-on support for new mothers who need help that are afraid to ask, providing a safe space. Then you have the 10% of creators taking advantage of this community, posting videos about the benefits of having a child or exploiting their infant child feeding to get their channel suggested to more viewers, getting their numbers up and engagements up to get more people to click their profile with their Twitter and Instagram linked in the bio that is associated with their spicy link and other adult content. Using hashtags such as breastfeeding mama, breastfeeding, breastfeeding advocation with association of fake body or OF. Now there are sounds that people are using to post videos of their child breastfeeding, creating a library of videos for people to watch. Some channels only have one video with tons of followers and saves. Reading the comments under some of these videos, I'm next, gorgeous mom, you are, so perfect, beauty, I'm next. Sharing is caring, never have I been jealous of a baby before. It should have been me. Is the other one going spare? Asking for a friend. My turn yet? Next please, I'm hungry. And as you can see, the creators are even liking the comments, so they know what they are doing. It's intentional. Now it's not just this one sound with videos like this. There are several other sounds with similar videos. With videos linking to sounds, this opens up a library of videos that people can view 24-7. Following down the rabbit hole that started with the live stream, I came to the conclusion that the sounds used on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube that ask you to film your child's reactions opens up a library of videos that people can view and scroll through at any time. And the moms and new moms that are using their children as content props to gain traction and engagement to their adult sites is wrong and disgusting on so many levels. What are your thoughts? About this let me know down in the comments below if you found this video informative give it a thumbs up this will help the video and the channel out with the youtube algorithm if you made it this far in the video thank you and i'll see you in the next one